Hey guys, this is Nine Line from Eagle Dynamics. Um, today I have a bit of a different video for you guys. Uh, the user supplied me with a track and a short video, which I'll show you now. Um, he wanted me to uh, review his video and track of uh, P51 versus uh, FW190 fight. Uh, he highlighted three verse that he wanted me to go over and uh, look at and analyze and uh, see what kind of damage he's doing. Um, so I thought this would be a great video to share with everybody. Uh, everyone can take a look and see what they think. Uh, I think this will give everyone a, a better idea of what's going on with the damage model, uh, what you need to do and what you need not to do. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it and uh, see what we can see. So I, uh, I just wanted to stop it on this uh, initial shot here that hit uh, Aileron. Um, one of the, the key things to remember here is while the damage model has changed significantly, there's still visual uh, miscues that you can pick up uh, if you look closely. Um, for, for example, um, this is one shot on the Aileron, but the Aileron looks like it's taken more than one shot. Um, we've, we've made many changes, tuned the... Uh, decals and the damage and the effects and such but we still are not at a, a level where we can get one-to-one -one, uh, hit versus graphic um, that's something we'd like to get to at some point uh, there's some technical hurdles that we have to to leap over still um, syncing that in multiplayer things like that but we definitely want to get there but I want you to remember that um, the decals aren't always a hundred percent accurate in showing what's going on So on this next burst of bullets, um, you can see that uh, we have a little bit more damage going on, uh, a few more shots hit. Um, you can see the stabilizer took some hits, and those passed through the skin into the spar of the stabilizer. Um, in the cockpit, it looks like the radio was taken out. Uh, we have two weapons, uh, gun one and gun two, where the uh, ammo belt was severed. Uh, generally, that means that the ammo belt was cut in half. So you have 50% of the amount of ammo you had before. Uh, I'd like to see some uh, variety added to that at some point. But uh, right now, that's that's what you usually get is 50% of what you had before. Um, you can see there's an issue now with the gear drive. Uh, um, that would probably cause us issues later on if we made it back to base. Um, right now, though... These shots did very little to affect the aircraft in any uh, major way. You can see a few more hits there. Uh, nothing uh, major, nothing more than cosmetic, really. Nothing that's going to affect the aircraft. Too much. Okay, so this round of... Uh, uh, bullets we see a little bit more damage this time we see a fuel leak now it's a minor fuel leak um, there's a major nitro leak which would be the mw50 i do not think that's visualized currently i don't know that it should be um, we can see more damage to the radio um, we have gun four is now damaged so that gun is uh, useless now it won't be able to be used um, we also see aileron rod major damage. Uh, this means that the plane will be harder to control, but not impossible. So the plane is still very flyable. It's getting more uncomfortable. It's probably got good vibrations. It's probably not a very comfortable plane to fly currently.
Okay, so this is the next big burst. Um, we can start seeing some uh, pretty major damage happening now. Uh, the right gear uh, uplock has failed and the gear is starting to drop, as you can see. Um, the tire on that gear is completely shot off. Um, we can see more weapon damage. Uh, gun 4, ammo belt is severed, but um, it really doesn't matter at this point because that gun has already been taken out. So again, you can see damage happening, but it's not necessarily going to affect the aircraft. You can see a lot more holes in the aircraft. Um, you can see a lot of uh, passes through the wing. Some of them are hitting the spar. Some are hitting ammo boxes. But again, um, we're not at a critical state. Um, the wings are still going to hold strong. Once again, you see there's nothing really critically wrong with this aircraft. Uh, from a flight standpoint, it's still quite capable of flying. Very uncomfortable. Uh, not a lot of fun to fly. I wouldn't want to be doing any aerobatics with it, uh, but still flyable. Okay, this fight has pretty much come to an end now. Uh, you can see major fire coming off the aircraft. Um, if we let it run a little bit further here, you can see that uh, we've got two types of smoke coming off of it, a uh, blacker smoke and a grayer smoke. Um, that means there's a fire from the fuel and fire from the engine. So, uh, yeah, this, this aircraft is done. Uh, the pilot's going to want to be getting out of this aircraft now as fast as he can. Um, with so much fire, he won't last long. Um, you can see major leaks. You can see uh, major damage happening throughout the center of the aircraft. Um, if we follow the aircraft a little bit farther, uh, we'll see that the pilot's going to bail out or try to. And uh, this aircraft is done. So we can see now uh, the aircraft, uh, the pilot is uh, popping the canopy off, um, but it's too late for him. Uh, the pilot has expired. He could not get uh, his belts and, and such off fast enough. Uh, the flames were just too much. And uh, that's the end of that fight. So I, uh, I hope you guys found this informative. I hope it's uh, helpful. I hope that... Uh, Maybe you learn something new about the damage model and understand it a little bit better. Um, understand uh, uh, where you need to hit aircraft and where you uh, where hitting aircraft maybe won't do as much to affect uh, the outcome of the fight. Um, obviously, there's still tuning to do, and uh, we're still working away at it. But uh, I, I hope this gives you guys a more insight on. Uh, uh, what you need to do, uh, what you need to work on, and uh, where you need to throw those bullets. So if uh, this is something you guys enjoyed and you want to see more of these analysis of uh, user tracks, um, drop a comment here, uh, throw up a like, you know, reach out to me uh, anywhere you can reach out to me, and uh, I'd be happy to do some more of these. Um, Thank you for taking the time out to watch this video, and uh, I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.